So for this eyeshadow look, I'm going to be using LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fun. And um, I'm going to pat it down on the eyelid just as I've been prepping the eye as well. And after patting it down, I'm just going to set the brow bone and get to work. So I did this method of applying foundation and doing my entire skin work just to show you how um, it works. So I'm going to be using this color pop eyeshadow called Main Squeeze and I'm going to be using a total of about two to three shades in my I think. So that shade I'm touching is my transition shade and I'm going to be using a different brush with the dark um, red shade as the outer corner shade. Those are the two main shades I'll be using from this palette. So as you can see, I'm holding my brush very lightly so that I can get a nice flush of that orange on her eyelids and yeah as you can see i like to apply my eyeshadows really really high just so i can make maximum use of the eyelid and i've changed my brush and i'm deepening the crease and the outer eye corner using the burgundy shade you can freestyle and use different shades i just wanted to use this for creating a brighter look so you apply and blend as much as you you want so as you can see i have a sponge in my pinky finger this is just to protect the um the skin work you've already done you don't want to stain it with anything from your hands you also don't want to use your hands to be rubbing things around it can be messy especially if you're working on somebody else i forgot this step but you're supposed to put some setting powder underneath your eyes just to catch fallout of shimmery eyeshadow or any kind of eyeshadow you don't want any of the eyeshadow to spoil your precious skin work so this is why i'm applying the setting powder now I'm going to keep applying and blending, applying and blending and I'm going to repeat the same process under the eyes on the lower lash line. So I'm going to apply the red and I'm going to blend it out with the transition shade and that's it for the under eye. I've just tried to keep it minimal since this is a brighter look we're trying to create and if you're working on your bright, you want to be as smart and fast as possible. So next I'll be using this LA Girl Pro Concealer again to kind of get the base very nice and ready for the shimmery and um, pigments we're going to be applying so as you can see i only applied it on the one third and two thirds of the eye and i'm going to use this thin pigment from ea beauty on that place as well the trick with working with pigments is to press it whether it is matte neon or shiny pigments just press it you will get the best application from it so as you can see i used um a synthetic brush and now i'm going to blend out the human hair blending brush and usually whenever i'm blending i like to go back into the transition shade just so that the blend will be very seamless i blend the lines not the actual eyeshadow so the next part would be the eyeliner now as you can see i'm just trying to explain more to draw a wing you draw the first line that's the wing from the lower lash line then you connect it to the top of your um lash line and then draw it back into the eyes i don't know if you can get it but just look at the way i'm doing it i pull the eyes so i can get um as close to the lash line as possible and yeah next thing is to apply the gel liner in the lower lash line what i usually do especially for the top lash line is apply a very thin liner you can increase it as you go but don't start with a very thick um, wing liner you can't reduce it from there so it's better start thin now i'm going to take a small brush and remove all that setting powder from under the eyes you want to be very gentle with this when you do that you will see that all the fallouts are gone and you have a very very flawless base as you left it so i'm just going to go and clean all that contour um defining and the powder on the nose bridge as well because right now i'm ready to finish um the face i also um i skipped mascara because i wanted to remove the powder first because when you when you apply mascara then you dust off powder the powder can get onto your lashes so remove your powder first then you go in and um comb your lashes nicely so after that i'm going to start lining the lips i'll come back and um apply mascara as the lower lash line but for now i want the top lash line to dry first so i'm going to line the lips just the same way you would do with the liquid lipstick just take a very nice lip liner that is not oily and line the lips properly i do not like using concealer to clean 
um the sides of the lips if necessary i will but i like to avoid it as much as possible which is why i'm very careful and i take my time while lining the lips so i line the lips and then i use the same pencil to start shading the pencil so that it can blend well with the lipstick so now my lashes are now tacky enough and i'm going to use my application tool to apply the lashes and once you make sure that your lashes are close to the lash line there will be no problems with the application so yeah i'm going to go back to shading the lips so after doing that now i'm going to apply this um lipstick from sleek it's matte but it's not dry matte like 24 hour matte no it's matte but in a very comfortable way so which is why i prefer using these for my brides so yeah i'm just going to make sure to apply this in the center of the lips because i'm trying to create an ombre effect and i'll just make sure that she keeps blending i'll blend the lines go back in with the pencil if you need to just blend she will smack her lips you keep applying and blending as much as you want just do not leave any harsh lines take your time to blend this lipstick so yeah i think that's pretty much it because after the lipstick now i'm going to apply setting spray and yeah apply mascara to her lower lash line and that's the end of the look guys i'm i really hope you guys enjoyed um these tutorials if you have any questions please feel free to ask them and i'd be happy to answer and also i would really need your feedback as to what you've learned anything you think i should improve on and yeah just any comments in general it could be compliments constructive criticism or anything so yeah also i forgot to add i added some nude gloss on top because i really love how it looks it just tones down everything and ties the whole look together apart from that i think that we are done i'm just going to let you guys enjoy um the look and yeah thank you so much for enrolling in my class